Hello and a very good morning to you this beautiful Thursday morning. Thank you so much for choosing us choosing to start your day with us once again. Yeah, and if you're one of those people that need uh, some money motivation to uh, get you started, mm. well, you've tuned in to the right show. Yeah, and now we've come with that boost, that morning sunshine you need. Something to just brighten up your day after, you know, it was kind of like a rainy evening. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Give so it was raining last up. night. I woke mm. up this morning. Things weren't uh, much cooler. No. So, mm -mm. unless it was cooler on top of my side, was it, was it cooler? <laughs> yes, yeah. it was cooler on my side. Oh, okay. It was, uh, yes. Things were, okay. yeah. Anyway. I came out and I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. There are lots of <laughs> things to be thankful for. And of course, we thank you once again for tuning in. Yes, indeed. Uh, do stay here with us uh, to the very end of the show. That's it, about uh, two hours and... Yeah. Two, two hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. My name is Yomi Obe. And I'm Titi Lai Oinsong. Now, if you have to move around, you have this option. Stream this show live. TVCentertainment.tv is the website you need. And, of course, Facebook.com forward slash TVC Connect. Mm. Mm. And join the conversation on social media. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on mm. TVC. You know that already. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We should do some giveaways. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been. It's been a while. But there's Some movie tickets. Yeah, but uh, there's Easter coming. Easter's mm -hmm. coming, so that's going to be a big one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there are quite a few other holidays we're looking at talking yeah, about. So looking know. forward to it. There's, and, um, uh, is it uh, Mother's Day coming up? Yeah, so yeah, a bunch Mother's of things Day coming. Yeah. Yeah, Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. um, maybe Topper wants to give out uh, a few <laughs> things from her collection yeah. on Mother's Day. <laughs> Mother's Day collection. She's Am very, very in tune with her momsy vibes. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes. Yes, she, she no. talks to her mom all the time. My mom. And then we're also going to raid uh, Titi's wardrobe yes, for Mother's Day as we well. Yes, that we will. Okay. And help the less privileged. <laughs> ah. no. Not we, or not, not the same, non aspiring Yeah, so we're going to be thinking about something to do for Mother's Day. We're going to plan something. You know yeah. that, with a musical performance, we have a young and dynamic artist called Ben Chrysolite. That's a very long name. <laughs> Later on, we're going to bring you more music. Uh, this one is from King Shares. King Sears. Uh, coming with a blend of dance hall, pop, and house. Okay. So I think that's King's Eyes. <laughs> King Shea. No, it's King's Eyes. Dude. King's Eyes. Uh, so we have so much still happening. Now, is your business ready for social media advertising? Stick around as Google certified social media strategist Fola Shade Abimbola joins us for an eye opening tech discussion mm. a bit later on. Also coming up is a live chant from Yoruba Chanta. I like that. Yoruba Chanta, Remile Kunkasali. That should be interesting. And then after that, we have a graffiti artist, Akwet Nyambi. Someone who's going to showcase some of his art pieces right here on the show. Uh, we've got a special book uh, in our review for the day. Uh, this one is a little bit different from what you would normally read, and it's uh, talking about the beauty of virginity. Making sure that you uh, hmm. abstain before marriage, <laughs> something around that. I was wondering the word you were going to use. Yeah, you I picked the right a, one. A scriptural word. Yes. Abstinence. Yeah, and then finally we move on to a chat with professional disc jockey, artist, and music producer. None other than DJ Neptune. This is a friend of the house, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alrighty then. I was checking. I know yeah. there's this DJ that is very cute. Is he the one? Uh, uh, <laughs> so a lot of these DJs are actually cute, but you don't see their faces because their faces are always, always down. Yes. I'll so I, I cannot answer that question. Yeah. You know, you know uh, <laughs> from way back, Craig David used to be a DJ. Mm. Yeah. And if, when he decided that he wanted to sing, yeah. uh, you know, people weren't sure that he could do it. People yeah. were trying to discourage him. You're not going to sell and, and stuff like that. But he eventually decided that he was going to yeah. go for it. 
And when he did, it was a big surprise mm -hmm. because at that time, he was one of the biggest selling UK artists yeah. of all time. He just did 20th anniversary of Imagine. Born to Do It yeah. album. And that Born to Do It album was like, I don't know, it was just everywhere. You could just be walking down the street, you just hear, do, 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 do. Yeah. It was doom, everywhere, doom. like it was, it was everywhere. There, there were stores that sold out Craig David CDs, like gosh. sold out. You couldn't find Craig David mm -hmm. CDs. Yeah. And this was a guy that they told, ah, you're, you're, you're not a shabby DJ. No. But you see that music, that studio that no, you want to go to, it. don't do it. Yeah. You know, so. They, so, so, and then uh, easily enough, easily, um, once he said he was doing his 20th anniversary and he brought out a 20, 20th, uh, d the edition, a yeah. new edition. That sold out too in the yeah. UK. It wow. was just, but obviously the age group of people yeah. Yeah. Um, that were buying it, obviously of they, they've all grown up yeah. and everything. But the music is still really relevant, and, and it just goes really to show relevant. that if you do something good, put all your energy into it, especially if somebody told you no. Exactly. Yeah. That energy, you're probably never gonna find that kind of energy until someone tells you no. Yeah. True. Yeah. And so, I, I, I got mean, so many notes. When, 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 he, when he did it, when he did it, I mean, yeah. you know, and it's just like a word for someone out there. Like, mm. if you've been thinking about doing something and people have been trying to discourage you, mm. but deep down, you know that, look, I can do this thing. Yeah. I can be an actor, mm. like talk by or I can, you know, <laughs> I can sing, whatever it is, just yeah. do it. Like Yomi. <laughs> <laughs> or rap, like Yomi. <laughs> so, yeah, this was years ago. You guys, come on. So, you know, it, it's, so, it's so interesting. A lot of uh, young people come up to me and say, oh, so how did you do it? How did you do this? How did you do that? And I'm like, see, that person that first tells you no does you a favor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They give you a boost and a drive. As yeah. long as you have the self-esteem to carry it. Not yeah. everybody does. Mm. But just keep pushing, pushing, like, just to prove that person wrong. I'm sure the talker um, has got days, a lot of yeah. Two days well. ago, mm. um, the, uh, a filmmaker came here, mm. and then I saw him on the screen, and I'm like, ah. Oh. So I was having a conversation with one of the producers and I'm like, five years ago, when I just started, mm. um, Shagwan Rizzo introduced me to one of them, mm. to this producer. Mm. And then he categorically told me that, mm. ah, no, talk about it. acting is not for you. Just go back to the UK, get a job. Wow. You can't succeed. You can't succeed here. Yeah. And then two days ago, I see him and I'm like, oh, I have a production company yeah. and I have a film. And mm. I walk up to him and I'm like, oh, I just wanted to show you my monologue. Like, mm -hmm. I want you to watch yeah. it. <laughs> and I just wanted to let you know that five years after, <laughs> I made it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, exactly. it's, it's, it was a great feeling. Yeah. It is. Because it you is. might not be where exactly where you want to be, mm. but you're definitely well, you not where you are. You yeah. making progress. Yeah. So, which Keep is, at it, whoever you are. Yeah, okay. It's really, really important. Let me make you laugh. My yearbook in secondary school, um, they bring it out in SS3, but they make you sign for it in like SS1. Okay. In QC, they make you fill in all the stuff. Oh, what do you want to be and all that. And so as I was writing, man, I wrote that I wanted to be a journalist in SS1. One. And then all my friends around me were laughing their behinds off. Like, they loved, hey, this one, journalist. <laughs> like, everywhere. It was crazy. Uh, but, you know, here we are. Yeah. yeah we yeah. have to go uh, to a real journalist as well in the <laughs> studio here. We have Ibrahim standing by for the news. Right, thanks, Titi. Welcome to the news. The Lagos State Government says it has quarantined six persons, including four children and two adults who were said to have had contact with the coronavirus index case in Lagos. Addressing journalists on Wednesday, the State Commissioner for Health, Professor Aki Abayomi, noted that although the six persons have all tested negative, another test will be conducted on them within the next 48 hours for a final confirmation. He noted that another test would be conducted on the index case within the next two days before he's finally released. The two wanted persons who had contact with the Italian index case of coronavirus in Nigeria have been found. Commissioner for Health in Lagos, Akin Bayomi, says the contacts were located through the social media and are currently undergoing medical tests. Professor Abayomi also asked citizens not to panic as 60 health workers have been deployed and airport surveillance tightened to avoid further spread. According to the commissioner, the state is doing everything possible to contain the situation. With more than 121,000 persons infected with the coronavirus globally, covering 118 countries, the outbreak is now a pandemic. Director General of the World Health Organization, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, used the word pandemic to describe the outbreak of coronavirus on Wednesday, but warned against the misuse of the word. 
We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Pandemic is not a word to use lightly or carelessly. It's a word that if misused can cause unreasonable fear or unjustified acceptance that the fight is over. And 4,383 deaths have been recorded so far with the latest coming from Indonesia, Lebanon, Panama and Ireland. Infections outside China have been reported by 118 countries. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the newest with, the, with a confirmed case. Not less than 31 deaths have been reported in the growing spread of the virus in the United States of America. Washington State also um, alone has 24 fatalities. At least 1,000 cases have been confirmed in 41 states and the District of Columbia. Italy is still battling to contain what has become the widest spread outside China with cancellation of events and shuttling, uh, shutting down cities. Despite the measures, authorities say death toll has risen to 827 in the last 24 hours. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the latest country in Africa to confirm a case of coronavirus. This takes the number of countries to report at least one, ca one case to 11. Out of the 102 confirmed cases on the continent, two deaths, one in Egypt and Morocco have been reported. Away from the coronavirus story, new emirs of Kano and Beachy Amino Ado Bayero and Nasser Ado Bayero have received their appointment letters. The letters were given to them by, by Governor Abdullahi Ganduje during a ceremony held at the coronation hall of the Kano, uh, Kano government house. The two new emirs expressed delight and thanked the Kano government for the gesture. They also pray for their late father, Ado Bayero, and urged residents to emulate his good characters. The event was attended by senior government officials, top security officials, the Emirates of Rano and Karaye Emirates, as well as hundreds of supporters from the 44 local government areas of Kano State. The Kaduna State Government has named the deposed Emir of Kano, Mohamed Senussi II, as a Chancellor of the Kaduna State University. He succeeds the pioneer Chancellor, Tagwai Sambo, who was appointed to the role in 2005. The announcement was made known in a statement by the special advisor to the governor on media and communication, Muyuwa Adeke. This is the second appointment given to the ousted emir by the Kaduna state government in 24 hours. In continuation of Operation Decisive Edge, the air task force of Operation Lafayette Dole has killed dozens of Boko Haram fighters at Bula Koregi on the fringes of the Sambisa forest in Borno state. The airstrikes were conducted in two waves of attack on Friday following credible intelligence reports indicating that the insurgents had relocated some of their fighters to the settlement preparatory to attacks on troops and the locals. In a statement by the spokesman for the Nigerian Air Force said fighter jets took turns in attacking the target, uh, the target area, killing the Boko Haram fighters and destroying their structures in successive passes. After the first wave of strikes, the terrorists reassembled at another part of the settlement where they were tracked and mopped up. And that's it on the news update for this hour. We'll take a break and at this point we'll return with sports. Good morning to you. We have some very unpredictable drive time in Lagos these days and it really pays for us to at least share with you some information to help make your journey a little bit smoother. 
Uh, well, with this information we share, hopefully it makes that possible. And we encourage you to help other road users as well by dropping relevant traffic situation reports on all our social media pages. Is it just me or am I blending with the background right now? Am I blending like yellow? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm starting uh, on uh, the route from Bega to uh, through Third Mainland Bridge to Marina. Now, it does say if you decide to embark on that journey, you'll be on the road for about one hour, 45 minutes. Uh, at this time of the day, it actually doesn't sound too bad, but uh, I, I hear there's a detour um, from uh, Echo Bridge these days. Uh, well, as of yesterday, there's a detour and a lot of people are not passing through Ikodu Road as a result of that. But the quickest route is a very, it's a different one to one we've been uh, talking about before. It's the Apapa Oshodi, or rather Apapa Oroshoki Express. That is a faster route for you right now. A lot of people uh, avoid that if they can. They avoid that particular area if they can. But it's going to take you one hour to get from Bega to Marina if you decide to pass Apapa. So uh, if you de decide to pass Third Mainland Bridge, you have one hour, 45 minutes. But if you decide to pass Apapa Uru uh, Express, you have a one hour journey ahead of you if you decide to take that route. Uh, we'll have other... Uh, areas in focus in a bit but I want to find out if there's anything on social media that can help you out this morning yeah so I'm just gonna take a few uh, updates that are here I think it's most of the updates uh, about traffic and really really hot spots uh, this morning are around the mainland uh, specifically around that Surulere axis here it says that if you're going to the island it, that's uh, on traffic uh, traffic butter if you're going to the island, it's better you use alternative routes. Avoid Alaka. It stands still for over 30 minutes. You know what that means. Mm. Uh, if you're trying to get somewhere mm. in a, in, very early in the morning and you're just in one spot for 30 minutes. So don't go through Alaka this morning uh, because the co bridge is shut down. It's also in the papers because it's unsafe. You know, sometimes when you're driving across that yes. bridge, you, know, you, you, you hear, uh, uh, you're hearing <laughs> noises all around you. Yeah. And if, God help you, when a truck is right beside you, when that, that's happening, it just feels like everything is about to come down. Mm -hmm. So the Lagos State government has shut a coal bridge for now uh, because it's unsafe. So, so it, and it stands still, those going through that axis, uh, yeah. please find uh, another, uh, find an alternative route. Also, uh, still somebody says, Funshaw Williams from Alaka all the way to Costain is blocked. Mm. So maybe people who didn't know that it was shut down yesterday, maybe they came out trying to go in that direction. They then discovered that it's completely shut down, completely blocked. So please look for alternative routes uh, this morning if you're in that area or if you're going from the mainland, uh, probably maybe Yaba access and, and other things might be better. So um, Yaba through Adekunle, through... Um, Mutala Mohammed way to the Third Menam Bridge. That should help better than other routes. I don't know if Tokwe has anything on no, Twitter. No, I haven't seen anything significant yet. Yeah. So that, that's what I've got, uh, TT. Thank you so much. I did mention that, you know, no one is using Ikorodu Road right now. No one is using it because of the fact that uh, Eko Bridge is closed right now. So if you decide to detour, you could take the Milan Bridge or indeed the Apapa Oro uh, option. So it's going to take a little longer for you to get to work today, likely if you're going through that area. Um, but if you're coming from the trade fair complex, uh, that's all the way in Ojo. Uh, you're you're going to have quite a free journey coming from that complex across the expressway. Uh, the expressway I'm talking about now is Lagos Badagri Expressway. And it's really free all the way till Agboju bus stop. That's uh, Festac Second Gate, I believe. And as soon as you pass through that, just prepare yourself for a little bit of a slow journey past Festac First Gate. And then, of course, up to Mile 2. Uh, mile 2 Bridge is a little slow this morning. I'm not sure why, but it's home free all the way till you get to Orile Igomu. All right. So uh, if you're passing through that particular area, should be home free for you as well. Some major trouble spots that keep popping up are just the major bus stops. So if you can just stay a little patient and go through those bus stops with patience, you'll eventually get to your destination in good time.
Um, whenever, you know, there's traffic like what's happening in Suleri right now, uh, the maps kind of go a little weird because um, when vehicles are not actually moving, when they're at a standstill, not moving at all, sometimes it does confuse uh, the software. And so you <laughs> might just assume that, hey, there's no traffic in a, in, a, in a particular area, but there is actually traffic there. It's just that the engines are off. <laughs> Nobody's moving. But uh, of course, you can always hook us up with information on our social media play pages. Please use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. I'm heading into the kitchen now because there's quite a lot that's yeah, happening. Quite a lot happening. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of explaining on a few things that are happening with the um, the price of the of the dollar to the naira. Okay. So yesterday, uh, it seems like uh, there was a scarcity of dollars in, in around, uh, in around Lagos, around the country. So what that meant was that in the morning, uh, so the previous day, which was on Tuesday, Tuesday, right? Yes. The dollar was probably around 362, uh, 362, 363-364-ish. Mm -hmm. But yesterday morning, it was a bit scarce. So it went up to 365. And the 365, 366, which was still not bad, right? Mm -hmm. But by afternoon, it was 370. And by like 3 p.m., it was 375. And then at the close of business yesterday, it was 380. Dollar. Why did Are we not supposed to be running? 380 Naira, <laughs> Naira to $1. one dollar. So that's a big deal. Mm. And the reason is that when, when dollars are scarce, mm. this is what happens. And also, there's also speculators. So if TT, for instance, finds out that gets inside information that mm. it's going to rise to 400 now. Yeah. What she will then do she is buy, buy a lot of dollars. Mm. So, so and create, and then create an artificial, I don't know. I don't know you people now, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, create an artificial mm. scarcity mm. that will now make people think dollar is scarce, okay. right? And then the price keeps going up. Mm -hmm. And then when it hits 400, she'll quickly sell. Mm. And, right, and make so, some change. And then make some change. Do and then dollars for sale now? No. <laughs> so look that's got that's got inside that trading. Jigen, so so that's what's happening now. So nobody knows whether it's panic buying or people creating artificial scarcity, but it's happening. Mm. And hopefully the, the CBN is going to do something about it because when that happens, the price of things get very expensive. So yeah. your ordinary phones that were like thirty thousand now would then become like forty five thousand. Yes. Yeah, for for a phone. Yeah. Uh, cars Everything. that were maybe two million will then become like three million. Mm. Because importing then becomes more expensive. More expensive yeah. So little things as well, and so anything that you import. So which is why it's important that um, the dollar is stabilized uh, at some point, so that you know you don't have this this kind. And of it can be it can be really crazy. The dollar it can, no, and <laughs> so it, it is the world trade, the world economy mm -hmm. is being affected by the coronavirus. Yeah, Everybody is. seems to be in some kind of denial about it, but it is happening. Uh, it was like a roller coaster in in the stock exchange in New York throughout the week. Uh, it was going up, it was going down. People yeah. were buying, people were selling. You know, it's it was it's uh, getting alarming. Uh, because people are just not sure what's mm. going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of speculation, and speculation, of speculation is yeah. it's not good for the markets. Speculation also yeah. in the Nigerian stock stock mm. market. So yeah. since Monday, the Nigerian stock market has lost one trillion there. Mm. So it means that people are selling their mm. shares mm. because they think it's going to crash. So, yeah. so I want people. So you call your stockbroker, please. That, uh, that term, Access Bank shares, please sell everything. You know that kind of thing. So that's what's happening now. Yeah. So that people can have cash. Okay. Yeah. You, you, at least you have your cash and hold your cash hold instead it, yeah. of allowing yeah. your stock to drop from maybe 20 naira to 2 naira or something mm. like that. So before that happened, that's why there's a sell off. Yeah. And yesterday alone, uh, Dangote lost 240 billion. Yeah. That's where did it go? <laughs> that's a good question. Based on the price. The price. See, 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 you people, let me tell you people something. <laughs> You, somebody cannot be losing money and they were now not saying, as in, no. it, it didn't come to us. No, trust no, no, he so didn't. He just lost, yeah. it. He lost it in the digital world. No, no, it's not like he was driving and they stopped him and collected 240 mm -mm, billion mm -mm. from him now. Like it's, but that's how the market works. Exactly. So that, that's, that's, what, that, that's what's going on right now. So people are selling their stock. So he's like, people no are scared. The richest man. Yeah. So just like, he's still the richest man. Yeah, so he didn't lose anything. Because if, for instance, um, everything changes tomorrow. He could get that, and he could even triple that what he lost True. in the next week. So you don't really think about it as a loss. Yeah. 
it has sense. Do. So, yeah. th <laughs> so when, when you think about all these things, like mm -hmm. when you talk about the stock market and all that, and it's hard for people mm -hmm. to comprehend, yeah. just think about, um, so if there's a scarcity of, say, sugar, mm -hmm. right? And everybody's running helter skelter, just like Dango <laughs> Yeah. So everybody's running helter. So you go to all these big supermarkets, mm. and maybe there's no sugar, or there's only three bags uh, of sugar, three bags yeah. of sugar, or something like that. It will now become very expensive because you are now seeing like 200 mothers Wanted stabbing themselves <laughs> trying to buy that sugar. sugar. Exactly. That's what's happening mm. <laughs> in the stock market, and also with the dollar as well. So. But imagine if some guy that had had sugar in his you know, warehouse for like warehouse. a year. Or he has been buying sugar He's for been like... buying sugar. He now just comes to that supermarket and just opens his truck outside the door and says, Sugar, ah, sugar! They'll be begging you so to I buy those three I hear that there bags. are people who have loaded up, <laughs> they've loaded up dollars since January. So How do when they start just selling... just and be predicting problems? Yeah, so when they start selling, right, those guys are going to make... Mm -hmm. a, you know what they call a killing? Do you know any of them? <laughs> Very good question. Not saying. Very good question. <laughs> Not saying. But um, there was also, you know, uh, we have to round up now, yeah. I know, but, uh, you know, there was news that Tom Hanks, the actor, and oh, his yeah. wife uh, also uh, are said to have uh, tested positive for coronavirus. Yeah. And well, this was while they were shooting a movie, a movie in, Australia. in Australia. So they're Sad. under quarantine in Australia. And it's kind of dawning on people that, wow, this is real. Tom Hanks is like that guy in the movies that your dad will watch and be like, oh my God. <laughs> If yeah. Tom Hanks has got it, oh, oh. Uh, just be dramatic. Ignore there, it but it. Really? Ignore. Yeah. It's a big deal. Wash your hands, people. Wash your hands. I wonder hands. who the actress For is. For 20 seconds. Between the two of you, I'm wondering who the she's actress is. She's the actress. Because she's done too many, too, two dramatic things today. That, yeah. We're going to take a break. Oh, wow. wow. All right, thank you very much. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating their birthdays. But we have our very first music performance for this morning coming from Ben Chrysolite, Eniola Benjamin, popularly known as Ben Chrysolite. Now, he is a young and dynamic artist who started his musical journey in 2018. Now, so far, he has recorded two songs with a video to back it up. His dreams is to use his music to give hope and impact the lives of young people around the world. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good so morning. So you started in 2018 and you have two songs and a video. Yes, bro. That's nice. How has it been for you since you started? Oh, it's not been easy, but we just have to pay for it. Okay, so what are you performing for us this morning? Um, I'm performing my Just Drop um, single titled Ozu. Hustle. Yeah. Oh, so tell me about Hozu. It's not Hustle, you know, right? Uh, we in Lagos and everything for you to get money. Money is essential you know, yeah. for you, man. And um, you need money. So before you get money, you need to also. Okay. And we are in Lagos, you know. Hustling is number one thing we do in Lagos. Okay. Yeah. So people who don't know what hustle means, you mean? Yeah. You mean um, that you have to work, right? Yes, you have to work. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'll let you blow us away with hustle. Okay, no problem. All right. Yeah. There is not something coming to make you look up. The sky is blue. One day my house will go pay. I'm gonna make it and make my pay. Money no day today. Money day come tomorrow. If I no goof today, my brother, I will goof tomorrow. So check it out. Thursdays come with that gentle voice that whispers to everyone saying, uh, <laughs> you're doing well. Yeah. One more day to go. And you know, you know you'll, be, you'll arrive at your 
<laughs> destination, which is the weekend. You know there are these skits online with that guy. Is it Mr. Macaroni? Yeah. You're yeah. doing well. You're doing well. <laughs> yeah. So the way you said it was like, you're doing well. Like, no, no, no. You're, you're doing, doing well. well. That's how you, you know, well, put all the okay. drama into it. <laughs> we are welcoming you with a second dose of premium family entertainment on Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you so much yeah, for joining that's us. That's right. Now, if you missed uh, the first hour, it's not too late to join <laughs> us. Uh, so the best things are still, uh, still ahead. Yes, sir. Still ahead. Speaking of the best things, um, you know, we have something tasty that will be happening in the kitchen. We'll have Tokme standing by with the chef. I think uh, she's, is she, is she making her debut today, Tokme? Is she? Or has she been here before? I think Ooh, she's been here before. This is her first, first time. time. I have to do my first time greeting. <laughs> first time greeting, really? Really? Hey, first time as you hey. 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 Thank you. Belinda. I think we need a bell. Belinda is here. Yeah. And mm. see, you know, it's like you rightly said, mm. there's this first time vibe. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. she has a whole package for us this morning. Hey. You know what, just take it away. We're back. <laughs> She's going to drop it hot. Mm -hmm. ah, ah, look at those veggies. Goodness me. I'm, you know, I like vegetables. I yeah. really do. Uh, but you know, so Chef Belinda, yeah. you know, you and I got a date later on. Wow. Yeah. Please, oh, please, oh, please. I just say. Your me has come with this yeah. uh, <laughs> vibe now. Those with school man, gentleman. Please, let's all the people. We are not in the kitchen today. We'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Okay, so you need to stay right there with us. My name is Titi Laya Oyinsong. And I'm Yomi Okwes. Uh, of course, we're online, so you can check us out there as well at mm -hmm. tvcentainment.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. We're live yes, right sir. there. You can send in those comments. Tell us how you feel about the show so far and what you'd like to see next. Tell us with our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. All right, so check it out. Uh, tell you what was going to be happening for the rest of the show mm. uh, on this hour. We're going to be having uh, some other performances as well yes. uh, coming up. First, we are going to be having music from King's Eyes, mm. coming with a blend of dance hall, pop, and house music. I have a question for SME owners out there. Is your business truly ready for social media advertising? You need to stick around for an eye-opening tech discussion with Google certified social media strategist Bola Shade Abimbola. Yeah, looking forward to that one, you know. Um, yeah. But we also have something coming up as well. Uh, a live performance from Yoruba Chanta. Remi Lekun Kasali. You know, it's all about the art on Thursdays. Yeah. So after that, we have a graffiti artist, Akwet Nyambi. A showcase of art pieces coming your way soon. Mm. Our book for review today is something a little bit different from the usual. Izehi Hana uh, will be here to talk about her book, uh, The Ten Most Important Things you miss for not having sex before marriage. Uh, I don't know what that means, but you know, <laughs> I'm just happy I'm not the one taking that uh, book this one. <laughs> this one. Yeah, you know. Who said? Who said things could change? Uh, we move on now. We have a professional DJ disc jockey. He's, a, he's an artist, he's a music producer, and so much more. DJ Neptune will be in the field. That's such a cool video though. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. hey, so you know, he's the one. Yes. I just wanted to say that uh, he's a cute DJ. Yeah. He's the one. Yes. He's the one. He's the Oh, he's yeah. the one. So yes. it's not just me that's going to be tripping for the guests. Who's this one now? You, you. Okay, see, 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 you guys are started. You guys see, see, are started. You have again. six pack. Own your six okay, pack. Okay. Well, he might have a six pack though. Uh, you know? you can. Oh. All right. So <laughs> this usually bears. Uh, what, what do they call it? What? We need to always remind people about the coronavirus outbreak mm. yeah. and the fact that the most important way to prevent it is by washing your hands. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that is the most. Uh, that, that's the first. Uh, line, way of that, line of action when it comes to the coronavirus. Yeah. Ensuring that you wash your hands in the bathroom, uh, get your hands wet, put in some soap, 
uh, you know, 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 yeah, seconds. Rub it for 20, about 20, happy happy 20 seconds. Birthday. Well, yeah, sing, a happy sing the happy birthday song. That's 20 seconds. That's about 20, uh, about 20 seconds. Yeah. And then, you know, flowing water, let it wash off. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. Done, please pour water on the, the on what? On and off. <laughs> on the tap? On the tap. On before the tap. You anyway, close so it. washing yeah. of hands, most important thing. Sometimes you wash your hands, after you wash your hands like two or three times, it gets dry yeah. and all of that. But look, it's, it's better to, to be safe, especially when you walk around people or you have to interface with the public, use POS terminals and things oh, like that. So me. every few every few minutes, maybe every hour, wash your hands and you will be safe. So people don't do realize those really easy places to pick up these germs. Sorry, I have my hand sanitizer here. I, I keep oh it on set days. now. I'm being dramatic, but really, it, sometimes it's just necessary. Um, so having hand sanitizer is okay when you, you know you're going to use a POS, as you said. Yeah. Or even if you enter the lift yeah. and you press one of the buttons, yeah. you don't know how many people have pressed those buttons that That's day. Mm. Uh, banisters on the staircase, uh, door handles. Yeah. Things like that that are just commonplace for people to use. Yeah. It's very important. So I know that people can't just go wash their hands immediately. That's why I have the hand sanitizer method. So um, and very important. This, these little things are very important. Yeah. And also, please, if you use public bathrooms, don't go with your phone. Mm. Uh, you yeah. know, because after washing your hands, you still have your phone with you. Yeah. You're just transferring, you know. So there was this study, scary study, that um, they swabbed a mobile phone and they swabbed a toilet seat. And apparently, they found more bacteria on the mobile phone than they found on the toilet seat. Mm -hmm. So once I heard that, I was like, okay. Oh, well, that, that was a particular mobile phone. It's no, not, no, I'm, so, I'm um, sure it's not all no, mobile it was, phones. No, it was a touchscreen mobile phone. No, I'm, they I'm didn't saying, say which brand or anything. Yeah, no, I'm saying a particular mobile phone that belongs to a particular person. No, no, they, no. they, they did a whole study. They did a whole study on it, uh, mm. but it, it, it was based on some realization. Mm. Uh, you know what? We can't talk about it now. Yeah. Uh, but we, we will definitely stop freaking you out as long as you wash your hands. Yeah, just wash your hands. Right? Ibrahim is taking the news now. It's all yours. All right, welcome again. The Lagos State Government says it has quarantined six persons, including four children and two adults, who were said to have had contact with the coronavirus index case in Lagos. Addressing journalists on Wednesday, the State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akiam Bayomi, noted that although the six persons have all tested negative, another test with the, will be conducted on them within the next 48 hours for a final confirmation. He noted that another test would be conducted on the index case as well within the next two days before it is finally released. The two wanted persons who had contact with the Italian index case of coronavirus in Nigeria have been found. Commissioner for Health in Lagos, Akian Bayomi, says the contacts were located through the social media and are currently undergoing medical tests. Professor Bayomi also asked citizens to be, to, uh, not to panic as 60 health workers have been deployed in air and airport surveillance tightened to avoid further spread. According to the Commissioner, the state is doing everything possible to contain the situation. A new emirs of Kano and Bechi, Aminu Ado Bayero and ba uh, Nosiru Ado Bayero, have received their appointment letters. The letters were given to them by Governor Abdullahi Ganduje during a ceremony held at the Coronation Hall of the Kano Government House. The two new emirs expressed delight and thanked the Kano Government for the gesture. They also prayed for their late father, Ado Bayero, and urged residents to emulate his good characters. The event was attended by senior government officials, top security officers, uh, the emirs of Rano and Karai Emirates, as well as hundreds of supporters from the 44 local government areas of Kano State. And the Kaduna State Government has, has named the deposed emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi II, as the chancellor of the Kaduna State University. He succeeds the, uh, the pioneer chancellor, Tagwai Sambo, who was appointed to the role in 2005. The announcement was made known in a statement by the special advisor to the Governor of Media and Communication, Muiwa Adekeye. This is the second appointment given to the ousted Emir by the Kaduna State Government in 24 hours. In response to, the, to what the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic, travel to the United States from 26 European countries will be suspended for the next 30 days. U.S. President Donald Trump, in a televised address, said the new travel restrictions on Europe, which will begin on Friday, is to combat the spread of the coronavirus. He said a strong 
but necessary restrictions will not apply to the United Kingdom where more than 45 cases of the virus have been confirmed. U.S. cases of the virus has hit 1,237 deaths recorded. And that's a news update for this hour. Stay tuned. Well, today is Thursday, March 12th, mm. and we're taking a second look at the newspaper headlines, starting mm. with The Guardian. It has a question. Oh, well, it has a why on it. It says, why I couldn't save Sanusi by Buhari. Kwan Kwaso knocks president over alleged complicity. Uh, it says, uh, Kano government not behind former emir's detention. El Rufai offers fresh appointment to deposed monarch. New emir, Aminu Ado. Uh, Bayero uh, receives staff of office. And in the photo story there, you can see uh, President of Dangote Group there, the Minister of Transport, the Minister of Works of Housing, and Minister of Finance, all in one shot with the Central Bank of Nigeria Governor. That is a picture, uh, you know, that you keep on your mantelpiece. You know, <laughs> yeah. you frame that one. Uh, it also says here, WHO declares coronavirus pandemic says cases outside China increased 13-fold, urges aggressive action to contain the spread. Economy risk collapse over bill banning power generating sets. Government declared ASU, declares ASU strike illegal, reawards Enugu Road for 29 billion naira. APC bars Oshomole from NEC meeting as stakeholders set agenda for Gyadom. Falling oil price triggers over one trillion naira sell-off in stock market. That's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. All right, let's take a look at the nation with the headline. Uh, Dan Gote loses 240 billion naira in five hours to coronavirus. Uh, WHO declares COVID-19 a pandemic. Lagos isolates family of four, two others. South-South APC leaders snub Obaseki. Uh, court OK's NEC meeting. Buhari, I have no hand in Sanusi's dethronement. And Asu passes no confidence vote in Babalaki. And Bayelsa, Babalola, Olani Perkun, protests Supreme Court's 60 million naira fine. And finally, on the cover of the nation, ex Quara board chair forged 336 students' signatures. That's what we have on the cover of the nation. I have the punch with me now. And it says here, 40 security men keep Sanusi under watch in Nasarawa. Bar visitors from meeting Kano dethroned traditional ruler. We only deposed Sanusi. He's not banished from Kano, says government. Ex-Emir wouldn't have been removed if Buhari intervened, according to Absalami. Just beside the masthead there, it says, federal government says, Asud strike illegal, withdrawal of service corruption. Uh, Senate bill seeks 10-year jail term for generator importers. Dangote to begin crude oil production in July. It also says, I didn't collect 300 million naira cars from APC Lyon, according to Jonathan. Expected petrol pump price drops to 114.53 naira to one liter. Reps suspend Buhari's $22.79 billion loan consideration indefinitely. And I'll wrap with this. Federal government shuts Echo Bridge in Lagos, declares it unsafe. Page four and five has more on that. That's what we have on the cover of the punch. Hmm. We've got uh, the Daily Trust here. Coronavirus trouble looms in Nigeria as 50 oil cargoes stranded. Lufthansa cancels 23,000 flights. We're not taking things lightly, says the CBN. Family visits Sanusi in Awi. And uh, COVID-19, Lagos quarantines four children, two of us. And Buhari OK's APC and EC meeting. Uh, Nigeria's economy is not working, says Dangote. And Senate wants importation, sale, use of generators, banned. IPPIS, wow. ASU strike, illegal, says the federal government. Mm. Hmm. And uh, there's a photograph on the cover of... Uh, the Daily Trust this morning, the front view of deposed Emir's, Emir Sanusi's new home in Awe in Nasarawa State. Mm. Uh, sorry, could I, could I go back to that headline, uh, the one where you said um, 
it's not just the use of generators, but also the sale? Where yeah, is that, so where is that story? sale and use, the importation, sale, sale and, and use. use. So they're wow. still considering it. It's not something that... Uh, yeah, of course, but yeah. it's... Wow. <laughs> because I'm sure where they were <laughs> deliberating, they were using a generator as well. So mm. we'd like to know what they want to do about that. We have the Vanguard newspaper here. That, that's a big issue. Uh, it says here, Presidency. Buhari has no hand in Sanusi's dethronement as president commends Kano people for keeping calm. We didn't banish Sanusi to Nasarawa, says uh, Kano Attorney General. Uh, Sanusi is a global citizen. His deposition, an embarrassment to the world, according to Kwankwa. So uh, I'll move on now. It says uh, WHO declares coronavirus outbreak a pandemic. Uh, CBN to fund local drugs production, specialist hospitals. Lagos State government quarantines four siblings, two others. Uh, and also says here Nigeria shops for buyers of 50 oil, for 50 oil, two LNG cargoes. The Naira depreciates to 367 Naira to the dollar as panic grips Forex market. And finally, scores wounded, shops looted as thugs attack Lagos suburb. That's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. All right, uh, we've got uh, the Daily Trust here. Uh, no, sorry, uh, the Daily Times. Mm. Uh, Daily Times with a headline, Presidency, Kwankwaso, Bika over Sanusi's outster. Uh, Buhari played no role in ex-CBN governor's dethronement, as Kano Emir says presidency. And no, president ordered uh, Sanusi's sack, says Kwankwaso. And Sanusi's removal, purely Kano affair, Gunduji replies, ex-governor. A few other stories here. Uh, Senate proposes 10-year jail term for importer sellers of generators. Oh. Uh, Kaduna to jail parents of out-of-school children. Lawan seeks UN's assistance uh, on looted funds Patriation. And stop spending IGR on your personal needs, FIRS boss charges MDAs. And WHO declares coronavirus outbreak global pandemic. And finally, Kiari assures women of equal opportunities in NNPC. That's what we have on the cover mm. of the Daily Times. And uh, that's, I think that's all we have. I think we've taken all of them now. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Welcome to the kitchen on Wake Up Nigeria. What's up? Cool. I've been making <laughs> friends with her so much mm -hmm. because everybody's like jealous in me, just standing <laughs> next to you. All right. So uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Go ahead. Uh, yes. I'm Belinda Isoy Meme. Mm -hmm. I'm a chef. Mm -hmm. If I want to hype it, I'll say C CPFM and, you know, uh -huh. I'm going to <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Hype yourself, hype yourself. I like it. Hasip qualified. Mm -hmm. And let me keep that first. Hasip so, qualified yeah, chef. Yeah, Hasip qualified chef. And All right. So today I'm making them um, hmm. seafood, mixed seafood. Yeah. Not just one. Combination of animal in the water. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that. Animal in the water. <laughs> okay. Mixed sea, uh, seafood with rich vegetable pottage. Hmm. Emphasis on rich vegetable. I didn't just go to pick some vegetable. No, rich indeed. So, speaking of vegetable rich pottage, vegetables. <laughs> we have a an array of vegetables here, and as you can see, it's very colorful. Look at that. Okay, so let's start listing the vegetables we have here. What, let's start with this purple one here. And um, that's cabbage, actually. Purple cabbage. Yes, a species of cabbage. Purple cabbage. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have that's cauliflower. Cauliflower. So I put curry curry flour. Mm. <laughs> we pardon them because they are laymen. <laughs> Cauliflower, purple cabbage. Then yeah. what's this? You have your uh, minced ginger and garlic. Okay. Fresh, yes. You, you yeah. minced it yourself? Yes, yes. Okay, minced. beautiful. Yeah. And then we have here? Red bell pepper, mm -hmm. orange bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and green bell. So those are bell peppers mm -hmm. in their different colors. Spring onions. Yes. So, and then? We have an Irish potato, which we are already... Already cooking. Cooking. All right. Something. So I'm not sure if we can get a shot of what is in the pot here, but the uh, seafood you made yeah. reference to, which yeah. types of seafood are in that pot right now? Yeah, there we have calamari, mm. we have barracuda, we have shrimps, we have prawns, mm. and we have 
a lot of a lot of them. Yeah, Barracuda, <laughs> calamari. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, before you put, I know seafood is important to start cooking seafood as quickly as possible. Yes, which yes. is why we started before yes. you came to us. Mm -hmm. uh, but what did you add to the the water? In the seafood the water, yes. I marinated the seafood before I started cooking okay. so that the ingredients will sink in it. What did you in. what did you marinate it with? with spices, mm. seasoning, okay, black pepper, mm. ginger spices. and garlic. Okay, so how long has that been on the heat for? For how, how long ten minutes. Okay. It will go because it's already shredded, mm. it's not whole. Mm. So it will cook fast. All in right. another five minutes it will be done. All right. So we're boiling potatoes here. These are Irish potatoes. Peeled, right? Yes, peeled and diced. We have medium diced there. Medium diced. Yes. I don't know the difference between small diced, medium diced. Yeah, small diced, diced medium diced, and large diced. So today we're working with medium diced. I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. <laughs> this amazing bubbly chef is going to be with us till the end of the show. Make sure you stay with us and learn a thing or two from her. Yeah. We'll take it. Welcome back. Wake Up Nigeria continues with our tech discussion. Now, have you ever tried to buy a product on Instagram? Maybe a friend said, oh, this is my page. This is my handle. Visit and buy from me. And then you get to the page, you're like, uh, okay, so what exactly does she sell? Earlier on, we asked if your business is truly ready for social media marketing. We're joined by Fola Shade Abimbola, a Google certified digital marketing and social media strategist. Now she's gonna be talking to us about the topic, is your business ready for advertising? Hmm, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, so now um, the, everything is happening online these mm -hmm. days. People are buying more and more online. Uh, and people are starting businesses without even having shops. Yes. All they do is they have a warehouse or they have some stock somewhere and then they send it back and forth. But how do I know as a seller that I'm ready to start marketing my product online? Okay, so the moment you start posting your products online, the process of marketing has started. Okay. But the question is, are you advertising? Mm -hmm. When is the right time to start advertising? Okay. Now, when you're advertising, right, it's like you're calling people, you know, it's like when, <laughs> if you're in a village, right, yeah. the town crier is ringing the bell around, something special is happening, come and see, come and see, okay. right? Let me use an illustration that maybe most people would understand. If you were told that, a queen is coming to visit, yeah. like they say, and the person is coming to your house. When she comes, give her this parcel, okay. right? The person is coming and then, you know, you see two ladies mm. or maybe two guys. Okay. One of them is really well-dressed, nice hair, mm. nice shoes, her colors are well-coordinated. You know, she looks really beautiful and so yeah. real. And then the other person with her dirty legs, you know, shoes are dusty, mm. colors are off, hair is, scattered. and you're looks scattered. <laughs> and somebody just, oh, that's the queen. It's both of them coming at you and say, that's the queen. Which one would you assume is, is the, the queen? queen? Obviously, the more well put together, the cleaner one of them all. Simple them and straightforward. Mm. It's quite realistic. So if I'm scrolling through, through business pages, yes. and I see a scattered page and I see a well-organized page, I'm more likely to stop <laughs> on the well-organized page. No. Okay. Instagram on its own is actually a very visual platform. Mm. So when you're putting pictures, they have to be clear, they have to look good. Mm. You know, that way somebody gets there and they're stuck like, wow, I'm like in Disneyland. This is so beautiful. Mm. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want that. Mm. Now, besides that, the person also needs to be able to access information easily. Okay. Now, this is where highlights come in, right? Pin the important information to the top of your feeds mm. so that when somebody lands there, I'm not going to go about looking for your promo mm. or looking for your latest products or looking for your prices. Pin them to the top, right? Put them on your highlights. So when I get there, I see something tagged, mm. um, new, new arrivals, I go there and check, oh, these are the new things they have. Okay. These are the ones that are still in stock, right? Mm. And then I go to the other part, I see about you, oh, this is what they're about and stuff like that. Mm. Use it as your own mini website because we know a whole lot of yeah. Small business owners do not have websites. Of course. So this is a free tool that has been given to you. Use it properly. Pin the right information. You go there. People will also see testimonials. Okay. This person bought it. They loved it. You know, All people right. want to, you know, try something that other All people right. have tried. So, so let me, let me, because I, I like to shop online. Okay. You know, I actually do because most of the time 
there's just never time um, <laughs> to, to go out. And I know it's the same with many other moms out there. Mm -hmm. So maybe I want to buy uh, a wig, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that if I use a hashtag wigs, you know, I will see wigs from Nigerian sellers. They will pop up on my page. Uh, but then I, I enter someone's page, it's well organized, and I want to contact them. That's where the issue usually is. Mm -hmm. So there are always different options on social media. You can either send an email or send a, a direct message or a DM. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the response time differs. Yes. So let's talk a bit about that. Response time and social media marketing. Okay. So one of the things that stops people from buying a lot of times mm. is customer service. Mm. And response time is also part of this. Mm. You put your products out there, you ask people to come and buy, they send you a DM, and you don't respond for the next five hours. Mm. There are other people selling that product, they're just going to go over to them mm. and buy, mm. right? Now, it's often better to have more than one channel through which they can reach you besides responding in time. Okay. Once somebody sends you a message, be, respond immediately and follow up. Follow up is very important because mm. here, as much as people buy online, people still do not trust a lot of online vendors because of scam and things like that, mm. right? So when they get there, talk to them, let them go through the process of being able to trust you, mm. right? There's issue of not trusting. There's another issue of now delaying them upon the fact that they do not even trust in the first yes. place. Yes. How are you going to make any sales at the end of the day? So you have to always be there. If you can't be there by yourself, get a virtual assistant mm -hmm. who will be there to respond to your authors and so that you can make, you know, you can sell your products and make your turnovers and move on to buy other products and so that your business can do well. And like I said, you need to have maybe more than one way to be able to reach you, okay. right? Okay. One, one go of ahead, the ways is, you know, DM, mm. right? You should also put your email if mm. some people prefer that. And you should also maybe have a WhatsApp link, mm. maybe in, your, in the link in your bio, mm. have your WhatsApp link there. If you have maybe a website too, you can use one of these um, um, sites that you use to put several links on your bio. Okay. Yeah, okay. you can use one of those. There are so many of them. There's link in profile, there's link tree. You can use all of those. So that you I have to there. I have to wrap this up quickly, <laughs> but I wanted to just touch on this trust matter. Yes. Uh, and the fact that, you know, it takes a long time to build this trust. And uh, the better your page looks, the quicker you respond to your messages, I guess, the quicker I can trust you. But is this always the case? Just a yes or no answer. <laughs> Not always the case. Okay. Not always the case. There are other factors mm, contributing right. to trust. All right. Then. Thank you so much. Uh, for coming to join us and talking to us about this. Now, a lot of people believe they're tech savvy, but not yet. They need to do some things to make sure that their business is ready for marketing on social media. If not, they're just not going to have as many customers as others. We have some music coming your way now, and I believe Yomi is on standby with our performer. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, thank you so much for that. Now, we got a special visitor from Germany uh, this morning. His name is King's Eyes, and he's an Afro dance hall artist who started his musical journey at a very young age in Edo State, singing in school and in church. Of course, they always come from church. You know these guys. Now, later on, he ditched uh, his 9-to-5 job, and now he's doing uh, you know, full-time uh, music. And, of course, over time, he has uh, improved his craft as an artist and is doing a lot of things uh, with artists like Luciano, Ziggy Marley, Christopher Martin, and other international acts. And it's pretty, pretty, uh, quite impressive, and he's going to be doing something special for us this morning. Talk to us about the music, uh, your music, and what you're going to be doing for us today. Yeah, good morning. Um, I'll be doing, all I want to do is party. Hmm. Um, I call my music Afro Dancehall yeah. because as a proud Nigerian who yeah. does dancehall and reggae music, I think with the new, you know, trend and rave, yeah. you know, I just have to call it Afro dancehall. Afro to, dancehall. To put in that that Afro yeah. influence. Yeah, right. So I'm going to be stepping out. I'm going to be stepping out of the scene so that I give you the whole stage to oh, just do, yeah. uh, do your performance. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, this guy, King's Eye, right now. Dance all crash and the party nice Can't no fight, no force Ready for the party All night long I beg you Mr. DJ Let the music play on uh. Wind up, wind up, girl Wind your body 
physically fit on your body no lazy Wine for me girl Yes! We're in the kitchen and I've been dancing a dancing. ooh na 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 a yeah dance. Yeah, we've been jiving in the studio because the smell of the food, the aroma is just so Chef Belinda. <laughs> Chef Belinda aroma. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Thank the show. Uh, for those that missed out earlier, we started making something special. You called it seafood pottage, right? Yes. Seafood pottage. Rich vegetable pottage. Rich vegetable pottage. Yes. Speaking of rich vegetables, we're going to go over them again. We have a very colorful array of veggies here. We have purple cabbage. We have red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, green peppers, spring onions, and carrots. Now, you're putting in ginger and garlic into the pan. Yes. Now. Yes. And uh, carrots. Carrots. Yes. So what are we doing now? I want to saute the vegetables. Okay. Yes, sauteing it separately before adding it or because I want to have, I want to saute them, add some seasoning in it. I want it to have taste of its own. Okay. You no, know, there are some food you eat when you bite into the vegetables, they have different tastes. Mm. Your food is not as sweet as the food itself. Okay. So when you saute this with your different spices and seasoning, mm. you will feel the, you feel the taste from every bite. Okay. No one is leaving anyone behind. So I just added a tiny little oil. To a non-stick pan so you just go all right beautiful. then i add them according to their state so we my have heart. Uh, a list of ingredients that's going to pop up on your screen in just a bit so you can probably try this at home as well we have carrots broccoli cauliflower mixed spices black pepper spring onions red bell pepper garlic ginger potatoes seasoning uh, soy sauce oyster sauce and uh, yes the green and yellow bell peppers so once you have all these, these are things you could probably have in your fridge uh, or in your cupboard. The aroma is just intense in Syria. The seafood that she talked about is a mixture of prawns, calamari, broccoli, uh, sorry, barracuda. barracuda. <laughs> and um, mm. there was one more, I think. Calamari, barracuda. Is there octopus in there? No? Octopus is calamari. It's that calamari. Been, okay, yes, yeah, worked yeah. on. Okay, as we exactly. worked on. Just like um, pork and ham, bacon and all those ones. Beautiful. It's, everything is pork. So. All right. So now these carrots, what are you looking out for before we know that these carrots are done? I'm sweat. Now okay. it's already sweating. So okay. I think it's where I good to go. So we can add according yeah. to how strong they are. Okay. We won't just turn everything into it at the same time. Okay. The broccoli would have come, um, cauliflower would have come in now. Um, parboiling that. You know at times that could be a bit hard. Mm. So I don't want that hard thing. So I have to parboil it a little, to blanch it per se, okay. then add into this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so what's the next thing we're adding? After the cauliflower comes in, I'll add this. You add what? The bell. The bell peppers? Yes, the bell. All right. mm -hmm. Bell peppers all going in now? And the bell pepper. That cauliflower that you mentioned earlier, did you add anything to the cauliflower? Did you add just salt, salt? Just salt. Just salt? Yes. Okay. So when they come in here, I want to add all the seasoning all together. Mm. All the spices and seasoning I need to use. You see the colors. I love colors. So do I. <laughs> my food must be colorful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I'm loving you more, more every second. Okay, so. So I this and this will come in last because they are not as strong. Yes, yes. Okay. So the cauliflower now, know. are we ready for that? Let's do that yes, now. So Let's uh, see what we can I do. Need to open this uh, open. Napkin. Okay. okay, beautiful. All right. What they call so oh, I yeah. like cauliflower, but it does have a bland taste. Yes. So I guess that's why you added. I it. added salt to mm. it, yeah, so that. All right. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Somebody look saw that. this and say in food like this. Uh -huh. he said, ah, this looks like chicken leg. You know those wow, feet, really? chicken feet. <laughs> 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 chicken leg, I see. But is it expensive? Mm -hmm. Cauliflower is it Not expensive? Really. You can get the quantity you want so okay you can't just if you're buying plenty yeah but if you want small one you can get 500 and even you tell them to just cut for you 200 and 300 and you can get really? so there's really no ah, some people see it's an expensive vegetable and they don't go near it not really I'm not really that. expensive yes depends on who you are buying from mm. there are some that are considered they say okay let me give you the amount that you want then they just mm. they mm. come in but there are some that will say i don't mark and finish now so Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what about the seafood? Is the seafood expensive? 
and to an extent, yes. Okay, all right. To an extent, so, yes. but you bought it as a mix? Yes, I bought it. it. No, I bought it as a mix. Okay. There are some that you mix on your own. If I was making more quantity, like mm. for 50 people and everything, I'll buy them, mix them on my own. Okay. I all mix right. them, yes. But this one, I bought it as a mix. So, okay. So now, so now we can add our spices. The spices yeah. we have here are black pepper. What black else? Black pepper. Yeah. What else do we Mixed have? Mixed spice. Okay. So I'm gonna go like this. All right. <laughs> do that again, do it again, do it again. Sure. I like Especially it. when they're adding salt. Uh, so I'm sure I'm saying they like to just do paparazzi. Hey. They don't want to add salt, they're not good. Okay. Yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh. But I can see you didn't use that much spice. You just no, used a little. No. Because it's still going into our main pottage, yes, okay. and that one is already seasoning and everything. So speaking of pottage, we have potato here. You said this is medium dice and yes. we've parboiled them. Yes. So how uh, how and when are we adding this to the whole mixture? When, we, after this sauté, now we put that calamari, that cooked uh, seafood on fire again, yes. okay. then we begin to mix. Okay. So we mix we have some pottage in here. We have some um, potato. potatoes in here okay. that will get done and because I will need to match some okay. to give it that potato feeling. Uh -huh. So I left them in that water, I will match them afterwards, they will not add. I can't wait, I can't wait. And I can see you have some, is this fish sauce here? No, just it's tomato just Tomato sauce. sauce. Yes. It looks beautiful, oh. it smells Pepe amazing. And very healthy to the eye. Very healthy, that's the cocoa of it. You know these days, anybody that wants to eat, please, fit farm. Fit farm. <laughs> fit farm. By four. So. Tokwe <laughs> is standing by. Have you heard Tokwe? <laughs> fit farm. Fit farm. <laughs> have you heard? <laughs> Oh, this should be okay now. for this every Thursday. With me, we have Remy Chances. How are you doing? I'm good, I must say you. your voice is phenomenal. Thank this you so much. This is the first well. time I'm coming up close with someone who performs like this. Thank so tell so me, well. what inspired you to go into um, chanting? Actually, the, my love for my culture. Hmm. I love my culture so much. I'm a graduate of Kara State University where I studied business administration. Okay. But I'm not actually making use of my certificate, but I turn my talent to hobby. So I, told, I told my talent to be a professional. Yes. Yeah. At what age did you realize that you were good at this? Um, I, I think I realized late 20s. Late 20s. Uh, early 20s. Early, early 20s. 20s. Oh, okay. But I started chanting professionally now 2014. 2014. That's about how, six how years now. Been? Fantastic. Fantastic. You know what? I'm going to go so that you can give us all the chance we can take. Okay. All thank right? you so go much. Awade. Awa mama deo. Ebi a beba de a kwasa ni yi de o awade Oh, my God. 
Well, two hours gone by already, yeah. and uh, if you've not been following, you have uh, another chance to catch up with the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. But you've missed quite a bit, though. Yes, you have. But hey, welcome to the third hour, and in the next 45 minutes, we have it packed with loads of informative, entertaining activities just for you. Now, if you're just tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, This indeed. is your favorite breakfast show on TV. Yeah, stick around with us. Uh, make sure you enjoy everything that we've promised. Uh, my name is Yomi Hope. And I'm Titi Laya Oyinso. Go online now to stream live with us. That's at tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. All right, send in your comments as well. Lots of stuff happening on the, on, on the show today yeah. and the kitchen as well. Yes, uh, the kitchen is agog with the amazing <laughs> look at that. Belinda, Belinda. Eh, eh, look at that, eh, look at that, look at that. Belinda, Chef Belinda making us. This Feel is amazing. Funky. To, be, to be honest, I mm. don't even have a clue of how all this came together. <laughs> yeah. If you're like me, you have to. Go, She's amazing. You have to She's. Watch uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that you when when you know when that's how to know a chef that knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so look at that. This Combo. is so colorful, and it's a pottage, not a porridge, right? A yes. Pottage. 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 So what's in that oh, pottage? Wow. It looks very. Uh, very rich. So it's very have, rich. We have seafood. Is it calamari? We yes. have oh, the cauliflower. Seafood in there. Yes. Yeah. We have yummy purple lighting. cabbage. Yeah. Okay, because it's calamari. Mm. Because of mm. seafood. Yeah. Are we making you hungry yet? Uh, seafood is some kryptonite right there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's. Uh, we still have a lot uh, going on on the show later on today. We still have uh, Akbet Niyami, a uh, graffiti artist, joining us. Uh, talk about some art pieces mm. that he's done. Then our book review for today is something really interesting. The 10 most important things for you, uh, things you miss for not having intercourse before marriage. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. And finally on the show, uh, we have uh, a chat with the professional DJ and music producer, DJ Neptune. Okay. So seafood, seafood. Why did you like pottage. seafood? 
this food. I just don't eat it. You know? <laughs> there must have been an experience. Exactly. It's not like I Your don't like it or anything. You just, I avoid just it. So yeah. you don't know what prawns mm. taste like. Mm. Or shrimps. He knows shrimps. what they taste like. I know what they taste like. It's just a choice. They just don't. <laughs> it's a long story. I, okay. I can't. I can take don't you guys so, through. Don't go all mm. biblical scripture said. <laughs> okay. There's don't, nothing don't. in the scripture that says don't. Oh, eat I just wanted to be anything, sure because right? you know you have like okay. a scriptural <laughs> reaction to everything. <laughs> so in the scriptures, you can yeah. eat anything. There yeah. We go. Right. Anything you want. Mm. So, so there, there I've no just known. I've just known Yomi to be someone that once he just makes a decision, he just holds that line. He doesn't, you I don't fish, have to though. ask questions. I eat fish, though, like certain Just kinds of fish. It. I eat certain kinds of fish, not all right. kinds of fish, but certain mm, kinds wow, of fish. Wow, your wife. <laughs> I salute. Yeah. I so salute. Um, whenever there's a seafood chef in the kitchen, we know that Yomi's not going to eat At the food. So Alex, we're happy. Yes, you We're very happy. We're <laughs> like, ah, more for us. Opinions, I'm like, yes, great. You guys will be surprised. Don't you I'll, just go, I'll just go more? over there and I'll just... Don't you stop eating chicken? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, chicken is fine. Everything else is fine. Change your mind. It's just uh, not So seafood. the book for today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. I, I did. I saw you guys' reaction. <laughs> it was yeah. so hilarious. <laughs> so it's it's like a play on words. Okay. So it's what you actually get to save mm. or the good things of not having uh, intercourse before before, before marriage. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you're taking that. So, that so it's like a book for young girls. Mm. Yes. Something like that. Yes, okay. for young girls. And just young girls. And young boys. Okay. And, oh, okay. and about to be married. <laughs> okay. So people about to be married. So when you were reading this book. Yes. <laughs> when I saw the book first, I'm just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what did my parents teach me and what are you telling me? Yeah. Okay. Because the, the title of the book makes you feel like you've been going the wrong way. Okay. Right. All the right way. And then right. I start to read it and I'm like, oh, I get, mm. it, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. All right. So it's, curious to know, curious to know what she has to say about um, yes. those, those issues. Anyway, we have the news now. Brian is on standby for us. Welcome to the news. The Lagos State Government says it has quarantined six persons, including four children and two adults, who were said to have a hard contact with the coronavirus index case in Lagos. Addressing journalists on Wednesday, the State Commissioner for Health, Professional, uh, Professor Akin Abayomi, noted that although the six persons have all tested negative, another test will be conducted on them within the 48 hours for a final confirmation. He noted that another test will be conducted on the index case within the next two days before he is finally released. The two wanted persons that, uh, who had contact with the Italian index case of coronavirus in Nigeria have been found. Commissioner for Health in Lagos, Akin Bayomi, says the contact were located through the social media and are currently undergoing medical tests. Professor Bayomi also asked citizens not to panic as 60 health workers have been deployed and airport surveillance tightened to avoid further spread. According to the commissioner, the state is doing everything possible to contain the situation. New emirs of Kano and Bishi, Amino Ado Bayero and Nosoro Ado Bayero have received their appointment letters. The letters were given to them by Governor Abdullahi Ganduje during a ceremony held at the coronation hall of the Kano State Government's house. The two new emirs expressed delight and thanked the Kano government for the gesture. They also prayed for their late father, Ado Bayero, and urged residents to emulate his good characters. The event was attended by senior government officials, top security officers, the emirs of Rano and Karai Emirates, as well as hundreds of supporters from the 44 local government areas of Kano State. The Kano State government has named the deposed emir of Kano, Mohamed Sanusi, as the, the Kaduna State of, uh, as a chancellor of the Cardinal State University. He succeeds the pioneer chancellor, Tagwai Sambo, who was appointed to the role in 2005. The announcement was made known in a statement by the special advisor to the governor on media and communication, Muiwa Adike. This is the second appointment given to the ousted emir by the Cardinal State government in 24 hours. Nigeria's major revenue earner oil is under threat over the spread of the coronavirus. Demand for the product is dwindling. China, Japan, India, France, Italy, among others, have placed some form of restrictions on their citizens, forcing a slowdown in economic activities and also negatively affecting their consumption pattern, especially their consumption of petroleum products. For Nigeria, oil accounts for about 90% of its foreign exchange earnings and the drop in global oil price to $33 per barrel spells doom. The federal government has set up a committee to look into the matter as Nigeria's 2020 budget is predicated on an oil benchmark of $55 per barrel. 
Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, has warned that Nigeria is running late for economic diversification as a country can no longer remain a monoproduct one. In response to what the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic, travel to the United States from 26 European countries will be suspended for the next 30 days. U.S. President Donald Trump in his televised address said the new travel restrictions in Europe, which will begin on Friday, is to combat the spread of, corona, the, spread of the coronavirus. He said the strong but necessary restrictions will not apply to the United Kingdom, where more than 450 cases of the virus have been confirmed. U.S. cases of the virus has hit 1,200, with 37 deaths recorded. And that's it on the news update for today on Wake Up Nigeria. Let's bring you... The Now, welcome back. It is finally time for us to review our book for today. We have here the author of the book, The 10 Most Important Things You Miss for Not Having Intercourse Before Marriage. Welcome, Ezi, Ezehi, Ezehi Hannah. Now, honestly, I can't wait to talk about the things I will miss. Or the things, yeah, the things I... <laughs> it's even funny to say the things <laughs> I will miss. But tell me, what inspired the play on words? Okay, um, I, I felt that... Um, I need to change, we need to change the narratives. Okay. You know, when you tell young people, especially maybe teenagers and young adults, abstinence, don't have sex before marriage. So they are used to hearing all that. So they are tired of hearing. So let's change the narratives. Okay, you want to have sex before marriage. You see, in fact, if you don't have, you are missing. Eh? You know, so it's like they're behind that, don't have. Now you're telling me I'm missing. What's that for? Yeah. You know, so. So that's why I had to have the topic. And you know, when, when the book actually came out some few, few months ago, about a month ago, there about, okay. some parents were trying to reach out to me and said, can my daughter read this book? Is this book, is it what young people should read? Yeah. But can, can, can I give this book to, out to teen people, so to, 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 to teenagers in schools? Yeah. I said, why not? He said, but how would you tell them that they are missing? I said, they are missing! You know, because of course the, 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 the title does not actually suggest the yes. content. So that's why, you know, when this, this, this um, popular thing that says, um, don't judge a book by its cover. By its cover. Yes. So the book, actually, the, the theme or the topic actually suggests that, oh, we're missing. Oh, yeah, but lot. when you really read the content of the book, it's, you, are, it's a, you are missing. But it's not the, the, that missing, missing you are talking about. It's the missing that you know and all that. Anyway. Yeah. So that's so why I, I had the topic. For inquisitive teenagers, inquisitive youths, yeah. the, the, top, the um, title is actually catchy. Yes, very Because very you don't well. want to know, hmm, all the things mm, my parents I'm taught me. They Let me find, find out. out. What am I missing? <laughs> I need to know. So yeah, that, that, is why, really yeah, that is why we had them. Um, had this topic that you know to change the narrative that come on stop saying i won't have sex for married but if you don't have sex for married, you are actually missing you know yes so and now in a society that we're living now where because there's a part i read about um having um kids before marriage, married things, you get to miss having mm -hmm. on um, miss out on abortions exactly and things like that now the society we live in I, there's, this, there's the way things have changed, the progression now, before your parents would not even discuss sexual related issues with you. Exactly. And then now it's be, they're becoming more lenient and now it, the leniency is leading to a lot of, um, I would say, baby mamas yes. in the society. Now, exactly. how do you convince teenagers and young adults that this is actually the right way? Okay. Um when you tell, when you ask teenagers, do you prefer being depressed? Do you prefer being emotionally drained? because you are giving yourself out for sex. I met a young lady who actually told me that um, before they get, get, um, get into marriage, the guy actually told her that um, um, they need to, um, she actually said she doesn't want to have, uh, she doesn't want to know, but, but at the point in time, she, the guy said, you know what, that's the only condition. Let's just do it, let's just have, and we didn't get little girl pregnant. You know, okay, I'm pregnant, oh, you're pregnant? And that was the end of the story. Yeah, right the guy, the, the, that, that was just the end of the story, and she became a single mother. So what, what am I trying to say is this, See, the pains young people go through, those, those who go through abortion, it's not everybody that, every young lady out there that survives it, yeah. you know. So the pains of going through abortion, do you know what it is? Do you know the emotional trauma you go through? You are missing that. Do you know the depression you go through after all that? You are missing that. So that's, that's what I'm trying to pack in the book. That you are missing, you are missing having a broken heart. Look at the lady I told, I, I told you about. She was, was actually heartbroken. Her son was actually four years old. And she okay. told me right now, I'm a single mother. 
and my single mother, and she's actually a cleaner in his school, trying to survive to take care of this this young boy, you know, because all of a sudden that uh, I I want to just I want to get married to have sex, and you know, so there are a lot of things, you know, and you miss, like I said earlier on, you miss having HIV STDs. STDs, yeah. Yes, you miss having that, you know. So if you have, if someone is saying, uh, but we, you, we we there's what we call what some people call protected sex. Now protected sex will not protect your heart from being broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it can protect you, for that, but it's not yeah. being broken. It can protect you from being um, being traumatized, probably, you know. And, and for kind of lad, if a young person, you know, probably a teenager gets in, engaged in, in sex, there's this addiction that comes over over time. And if you're person not careful, it, it gets into marriage and it, it becomes a problem. Okay. So these are the things I'm trying, I'm trying to control in this book that, no, man, you are missing, you know. So all those things, all those things, bad, bad things. So it's not only good things you miss, so miss bad, bad things. Yeah. Means, you know, so how will the parent get, be, be happy that, ah, my child is in school, she's pregnant. Oh, who wants, no parents to be happy. So you miss making your parents unhappy. Happy. If you miss even disappointing God. Yes, I'm a faith person. Uh, so I saw you miss disappointing God because of course God will not be happy with you. you yeah. know, because the Bible says marriage is honorable in all things and the bed undefined. So it's not about what the world says, about what the word of God says. For me, For you. that's key. Okay, now so good thing you brought up the um, spiritual angle. Because <laughs> while I'm reading this, I like to have I like to be very objective and open minded because okay. everybody does not think the way you think. Exactly. And then chapter three um, topic is you miss having sexually transmitted yokes and bondages. Mm. Now I'm all about getting an information out in the best way possible. Mm. How do you convince someone who is not so spiritually sound okay. about yokes and bondages? Okay, because the thing there is this, sex is a spiritual thing. It goes beyond having fun. It goes beyond, oh, I'm, ha I'm having fun. Oh, I'm getting the, all the excitement. It's, sex is a spiritual thing. So if people begin to see from that angle that sex is a spiritual thing, you know, it's, you know, God actually created sex for marriage. I know it's, it's, it's sex is actually what cements, you know, a relationship. It's what makes a man and woman becomes one. So when today you are with... Okay, it makes a man and woman becomes one. As in, to an but extent, as in cement. cement the relationship? No, it cements the relationship. Quote, cement means that, people feel that, cement some people that, okay, have sex with me. Okay, so my heart goes out to you. Just yeah. let's, let's go have sex. So I'm there, you are here. So it's, it's cement is not mean, I don't really mean yeah. cement ahead. Okay. So now, the issue of cement you this is now, today you are with... Bola, tomorrow you are with Tolu, next tomorrow you are with Tobi. You keep on, you, you, you keep, More because it's a spiritual thing. You take there, you take there, you take there, add it to your life, all that. We take, it's, it's a spiritual thing. Some people don't realize that it's a spiritual thing. So that's where the problem is. So once you realize that sex, sex is a spiritual thing, you will understand that really you, you, you can acquire, yes, acquire, this. exactly. Thank you so much, Hannah. You know, I can see you're really passionate about this. Sure. And you know, good thing for a lot of youth out there, this is very insightful and very necessary information that you should have. So you can reach out to Hannah and get this book and give it as a gift to young um, teenagers yes. and adults out there. But next up, we have Yomi, who will be taking the art display. Let's see what he has for us. Well, yes, indeed. Here we are uh, out here in the garden. I'm here with Akpet Yambi. Now, this guy is uh, a street artist, but he also does functional art as well. He's a really, really talented guy. If you see all around me here, uh, quite some amazing pieces of work uh, I have got this one in my hand, something from the streets, the streets. as this guy right here. And uh, thank you so much for joining us on the show. My pleasure. Uh, functional art, tell us about what you do and how, how you bring your, your art together. Well, um, sometimes I just look at, you know, situation in the street or life generally and try to bring out something that's very relatable, mm. you know. Um, you know that, uh, especially in Lagos, it's, a, it's kind of like a place where a lot of people are always on yeah, the hustle, activity, on the go, yeah, kind of yeah. So I thought I, I do uh, works that are very relatable, mm. you know, and then uh, bring it all out there. Yeah. And then um, my functional art, more or less, is born out of the fact that, you know, we artists actually mm. have issues with, you know, it's very, um, lux um, it's a luxury good yeah. where you find more, you know, rich people actually buying art and all that. So, yeah, so they use a lot of disposable Yeah, in order for yeah. people like, you know, normal people to actually have my art, mm. I try to make it more functional in the sense where I create, you know, okay, little, So what are these? These are like wallets. Okay. 
wallet. Okay, wallets, functional wallets. Then have like t-shirts. You know, t-shirts so, as well. Okay. So if my if my painting actually goes for a hundred thousand plus fifty thousand, and yeah. you can afford it, at least you can actually afford as a wallet or a, a wallet, t-shirt, or t-shirt or, or something like that. that has my art on okay, it. Because so this is really nice. So if I wanted to buy this, I'll just go to uh, your um, Instagram page. Art mentality. Art mentality. Art mentality. Yeah. Art mentality. Okay, so cool. Uh, let's talk about uh, a few of your paintings. Okay. Uh, so this one. You I called call it the streets. The streets, yeah. Um, mm. I don't know if the camera can see it. It's, it's. Uh, I like what this you is. Did. This is actually. This is actually um, uh, Balogun. Okay, Balogun Market. Yeah, Balogun Market. So mm. if you if you check, this is where you have the fabric market. Mm. You see the, the puzzle building and all that. So yeah. um, a friend of mine posted this on uh, his page, and I just I liked it, so I picked it up, and then I had to do you something. Just recreated it. Recreated, and, yeah. well, it mm. looks like acrylic and that's on, acrylic on canvas. Yeah, acrylic really, canvas. really nice, interesting work. And uh, over here, uh, I've got something else, also from the streets. I call that one Danfo Hustle. Danfo Hustle. Yeah. I Danfo like it. Hustle. It's very. It's. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not too large. Not. Too, not too intrusive. Plus, something for the office. Mm -hmm. Danfo something Hustle. Something very possible. Is this? Yes. Uh, it looks like I'm seeing some reflections on the on the ground there. Is this? Yeah. Is this water or yeah. well, just? Well, wait, basically, it's um, it's actually born out of you know it's uh, spontaneous realism mm -hmm. you know where we just take different colors and we paste in different places right. but we still bring out real you know pictures and mm. real events more or less right. but so this is not really water though mm. it's just you know the acrylic which you know it just, flashed it just everywhere comes out with a, with a different kind of flavor all right so uh i noticed that you also do um you also do uh yeah. faces as well because mm -hmm. i'm seeing yeah there's mm -hmm. this interesting one here and another one with somebody Laughing and crying. That, that makes me laugh every, every morning <laughs> when I see it. <laughs> okay, so talk to us about this one. Yeah, this one, um, it, it's actually a friend of mine. Uh, she's actually an artist. Oh, okay. Uh, she's okay. a musician. And um, I like the picture. I saw the picture when she posted it on a, on a, a status, mm. and I liked it. And I felt, okay, I like the picture. Let, let me let's just do something, do something a little mm. bit messy, you know. Uh, spontaneous realism. So yeah. I, I so spontaneous realism. Yeah. I, I like that word. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes out. It comes out like something that gives you liberty to do what you. Yeah. What you like. Basically, now. it gives me a lot of liberty to do a lot of things. So just this put colors everywhere. You know, this looks like. You say it makes you laugh. It makes me laugh as well. Mm. So people that have big teeth have a way of covering their mouths when they laugh. Yeah, when they're laughing. Right? Yeah. yeah. So this is really good. I, I, I call this. I call this euphoria. Euphoria. Yeah, euphoria. Mm. You know. Um, uh, when I saw when I saw the picture and I saw this and I felt look this can just go away like that without having a painting that mm. has you know I mean have different colors splashed everywhere and yeah. then you create this you know and mm. for me it's like it's uh, a painting which it brings so like happiness right you know well, just mere looking at it mm. you understand it just change your alters your your mood and your, exactly, your thought exactly understand? it gives you just yeah, a that little bit of happy to, yeah, that kind of to thing, feeling so. as well but you do uh, i noticed that you do a little bit of abstract work as well yeah uh i'm seeing some abstract abstract work here okay, okay this is a little bit heavy it's very heavy yeah. uh so talk to us about these abstract it looks a little bit more like uh, drawings now this is this is um i call this uh CBD. Hmm. Now, Sibidi is actually like a, a secret language that they used to have those days in Africa here. Right. Now it's actually getting extinct. Mm. Uh, maybe they actually do it like exotic. If, like if you remember Black Panther, yeah, they had the same a little bit of little yeah. bit of stuff like this yeah. all put up, put up in different places. But really, it, it actually has a whole lot of message inside of it. You mm. understand? It has like the love message. It has. You know, like masquerades. Yeah. He has a couple of other things. So many different languages. Royalty, so stuff like one, that. Even yeah, emotions I mean, as well. Exactly. So I can see all of that in the painting. Yeah. It's a whole uh, you're, lot of you're an amazing guy. I mean, <laughs> so if if I, I can find you on on Art Mentality on Instagram. Okay. And of course, I can order stuff, uh, be a part of the process, and also see some of the well, other works the, that you're the doing. Problem, well. The problem with um, I, my my Instagram page is yeah. that I'm not really too. Savvy, yeah, and stuff course. like I mean, that. You're not a little now. bit, a little bit you're mundane. Artists, so, though, yeah, a little so mundane. So, but I rely on, to be expected. yeah, I rely, rely on, so like meeting people, yeah, and trying one to sell, one. yeah, sell. My anyway, ideas and all that. well done, good job, and uh, I like your functional art as well. Okay. Uh, T-shirts, uh, transferring some of the stuff that you make yeah. uh, into functional stuff. I'm gonna get, like, get a T-shirt like lined with that. Out of that, okay, this that. It's a really, it's a really good job. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And hopefully, all the best. And we're gonna be attending. 
attending some of your exhibitions very as soon. well. Very soon. Very soon. Very soon. So send us an invitation. All right. All right. We're going to go now and a quick break and be back with more on Wake Up Nigeria. greatness in a song you know you know it has to be DJ Neptune you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. now we have been joined by Patrick popularly known as DJ Neptune mm -hmm. and he is an international DJ music producer and artist he's here to talk about this you know his amazing music his yeah. new projects and so much more it's always a pleasure having you around to be, Thank you. To be honest mm -hmm. when you just said that greatness that's yeah. when i realized i've heard it in songs oh <laughs> but i didn't thought that that was you <laughs> to be honest mm -hmm. i didn't know oh, yes yeah. yeah, so welcome how are you guys doing well, good, good morning good morning nigeria good morning, good morning. Good morning world Thanks. You know, I'm going to ask you to take off your, sh your, your glasses. Oh, no, please don't yes. do this to me. I like, to. I have tired. You know, I, no, 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 I, I, I You know, I it's only me that can do this. You I know, know but please, I worked till like 4 a.m. The things that only And then I had to do. wake up by 6. But I'll just take it out. Like. Woohoo! <laughs> and that's no, the No, no, for me. <laughs> you're covering all the fine boy with these no, glasses. No, it's fine. Eh, See, eh, they know I'm tired. See. Eh, eh, no, which tired? Let me hold it for you, it's uh, fine. Okay, let me just put it on. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the studio. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? Fine. Awesome. awesome. There's awesome. this video that's making women's heads just go crazy now. Really? This music yeah. video. Mm -hmm. Which one? And they were like, wait, has MJ come back? <laughs> like, is MJ now involved? MJ 3.0. Yeah. <laughs> back to life. So, so tell us a bit about what happened with that, that video. That All right, so um, that, that's the new single, Nobody, myself, Joe Boy, and uh, Mr. Easy. Okay. Uh, Shout out to T.G. Murray, the director. Mm. So, I mean, we created the music and then sent it to him. Mm. And then he came up with a brilliant idea. And when I saw the, the storyboard, I was like, okay, this is excellent. Because, yeah. I mean, aside from the fact that the song is already a good song, um, that story around MJ yeah. is going to be very entertaining to people. Because, I mean, yeah. who doesn't know Michael Jackson? I know, yeah. right? I mean, <laughs> the effort that goes into, into making yeah. videos like this. In fact, making music generally, making yeah. videos and finding new ideas is, is a lot. It's a yes. lot of pressure. Yep. Um, I, I have a feeling there are probably some ideas that came up for this video that you guys even scrapped. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we've got different storyboards and I was like, nah, this is not gonna work. Mm. Yeah. You know? So okay. it, it takes a lot, it takes a lot to make these things happen. Mm. And it's so sad when people now stay behind their little device and be like, oh no, this is whack. Like, uh, <laughs> only if you knew <laughs> what we had to do. Because if you watch that video, you'll see me laying down in the big like pool water. of water. Yeah. Yeah. That's water mm -hmm. with paint inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I had to go in and lay down mm -hmm. like that to perform like to the camera. Paint. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then after that, I, go, I, had to go, I had to go shower. You can see right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so even, even the lady, the lady that's in the water too, you know, yeah. it must have, and then the water was probably cold. Yes, it was, it was cold. <laughs> it was cold. Trust me, it was cold. Very cold. It wasn't funny at all. Mm. I told TJ, like, you made me do this. I'm like, I'm the only one who can make you do this. Yeah, no. Sure. Like, well. it's, it's effort. So I want to talk about your, um, your childhood dreams. Okay. Did you, always want to be, wanted, did you always want to be a DJ? The DJ. Okay, so I knew I was going to be an entertainer. Oh, okay. But I didn't foresee DJing. When I started, I used to sing. Then I had um, one of my uncles who would come to the uh, crib every weekend to pull me through voice training, but oh. my dad kicked against that and I know way. I'm not having this, mm. you know, so I, that had to like die down. Okay. Then along the line, I lost my dad and then oh. being the only boy, I had to start making decisions for myself. Yeah. And then I was opportune to attend the party one day, saw DJ mix life. Mm. And then I was like, you know what? This is it for me. Wow. Now, how did the rest of your family take it, being the only boy? It wasn't easy, trust me. I had to leave my comfort zone for two years mm. just to prove, them, just to, prove to, to them, them that this is what I want to do. But I mean, now it's, it's um, a change story. You're Everyone is happy. Checks. Yeah, I mean, it's like me having fun and I'm being paid, paid for it. For yeah, it. So okay. That, okay. that's a wonderful feeling. So if you weren't a DJ, an artist, a producer, what would you be? Uh, I studied public administration, but I'm not a 95 person. Yeah, I can sit in one spot. So obviously, eh? <laughs> I'm far from that. I'm far from that. 
No way, I can't. I mean, I don't know who am I. Tomorrow things yeah, might tomorrow change. Tomorrow we'll bring you know, out this table. Uh, but yeah. I'm being honest. If I wasn't a DJ, yeah. obviously I would still be in the entertainment scene, but maybe behind, yeah, maybe okay. into production, maybe mm. visuals and mm. something like that. That was actually where I was gonna go. I was gonna go to the business side of things yeah. because it's one thing to have a flashy glam video. Mm -hmm. There's another thing to actually think about how whether this aspect of what you, your craft is actually going to make you good money yeah uh, and then how how sustainable is it, is it over time yeah you know so what um, made you stick to that decision and say you know what i'm going to make this a business i'm going to you know make sure this thing works what made you get there okay so for me when i started uh, i mean it was more of the passion it was it wasn't even about the money like there was really no direction and um, this is me uh, being in the industry for 19 years and um over the years i mean i started evolving Money started coming in, I started getting booked. Mm -hmm. Then I started doing research and then understanding the need to brand yourself yeah. as a DJ and entertainer, make your brand sellable to different um, people all around the world. And over time, over time, things started getting better. And um, yeah, we're still in business. Mm -hmm. Experience and over the years, you can buy the market, True. you know, so. Yeah. So how much was the first money you ever got? <laughs> ah, I think that was, I think that was like 3,500. Yeah. One year. <laughs> this was like um, 2003 or 2004. Oh, so it was big yeah. money now. It was big money. No, it no. wasn't big money. It wasn't, it wasn't no, big like, money because... No, it wasn't big money Because what happened was I had to rent equipment. <laughs> I had to pay the taxi. I it, trust me, I think I went home with like maybe like 800 but I was fulfilled I, yes. because everyone was happy mm -hmm. and most of the people that came to that party it was my friend's birthday party so I had to beg me like guy please mm. I need to showcase myself mm. yeah. you know let me feel like a cool kid around yeah. you know our guys and I, it, it turned out well turned everyone out was probably like oh really so you yeah. can DJ like yeah yeah I, I told you guys but <laughs> so, you never so believe so from three from 3,500 to like nearly 3.5 million that you charge I don't now. know what you're talking yeah. about <laughs> so what, what, what was the first money that you got that you were like mama I made it <laughs> um that was 200k mm. yeah it was it was a corporate gig okay wow. that was nice. between 2003 to when <laughs> that, was, that was like 2007 and that was when i bought my first equipment so when i got that money wow. yeah. i just boom i bought my yeah. first equipment Ooh. yeah you didn't follow your boys out and go um, and drink hell no, no. <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad you said that i'm glad you said that because hell i was no. thinking I, about all those ladies now that They've seen you with Joe Boy, they've seen you with all you know, and they're like, ah, don't worry, let me just, you know, catch this one. Mm. Um, has there been any of that pressure to, you know, impress the ladies? Hmm? Uh, for me, I've always been that guy that like to do me. Hmm. I don't um, put myself under unnecessary pressure. Hmm. Okay. So if you bring in that vibe hmm. and that vibe is not connected with me, just stay, stay in your lane. Just stay yeah. in your lane. It's not adding value to my life, so. Yeah. Yeah. I have something that will add value to your life. Okay, <laughs> I'm interested. Add value to your In the kitchen. Right. Not here. Kitchen. Mm. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Let's add some value. To your tummy. To your tummy. <laughs> Please, uh, take a seat. All right. Hey, people. Yeah. Boss man. Hey, yeah. guys. How you doing, man? Fine. Yeah. Doing well. Nice to have you on the show. Please have a seat. Yeah. Chef. Uh, chef. <laughs> we've got a uh, chef in the kitchen. Yes, so. Okay. Chef Titi. Belinda has mm. made this amazing seafood pottage. Okay. Sharply tell us About what it. you did yeah. to get this one. Yeah, okay. I, mm. I made um, <laughs> a seafood with rich vegetable pottage. Mm. Mm. So I made that because these days we have Fit Farm, Fit Farm. I'm watching my weight. I want something healthy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why right. I came up with healthy that. Healthy alternative right. yeah. for you. This there you actually, go. I'm actually on that on Fit Farm team. Right. So this is a good combination So you can me. start from anywhere. Let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, we need to pray. Father, Lord, bless this food. So it gets into the right places in Jesus' name. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Seafood pottage. Mm -hmm. Where do I start? Uh, wild so this use. is a combination of potatoes, different types of seafood, shrimps, calamari, uh, yes, Maracuda. prawns. Love it, love it, love it. Ah. So what do you think? What this is you good. Mm. good. That's uh, what we wanted to hear, people. Come learn from you. Well done. Thank you for stopping by this morning. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, big thank you to our chef, yes, okay. Linda. Well done. <laughs> um, Homely NG, thank you for the kitchen accessories yeah. and of course thank you to our band that are standing by. <laughs> they're standing by in the garden and they're going to be doing something special to take us out into the weekend for tomorrow's show at 6am, don't forget. Yes so, bye. bye.